This video is part of the Living and Coping with Worry, Anxiety and Depression during the COVID-19 pandemic series. This video will explore behavioural activation, letting you know what it is and how you can use this in your everyday life. My name is Megan Johnson and I am an assistant psychologist working within CPFT as part of the CAPS team within the Peterborough Exemplar Project. I am helping to make some of the videos within this series. What is behavioural activation? Behavioural activation is an evidence-based treatment strategy used to help with withdrawal from day-to-day -day activities, which usually happens when someone is low in mood. Behavioural activation helps us identify activities that we stop doing when we feel low and activities that give us pleasure, meaning and accomplishment. Activities are then reintroduced to incorporate structure, enjoyment and achievement back into our lives. Why do we need this now more than ever? During challenging times, whether that be a global pandemic like the COVID-19 crisis, a relationship breakdown, job loss or financial difficulty to name a few, we have to take charge and plan more than usual. During these times, we have to change our normal routines, and that may be difficult. There may be less opportunity for activities that give us enjoyment too. This can have an adverse effect on our mood, and we can get stuck in a cycle that results in inactivity and worsening mood. What should I include in my daily plan? First of all, spend a couple of days monitoring your activities. Make a note of the activities that you're doing, and your mood at the time. How do you feel while you're doing those activities? Each plan will vary person to person. I'm going to talk through some categories that these activities should fall into. First of all, a plan should include things that we have to do, the essentials, like work and household chores. A plan should also include pleasurable activities. That could be going out in the garden, it could be listening to music. It should also include things that move us towards our goals or values, like learning a new skill. Self-care should also be included. This is really important and it includes eating a balanced meal, exercise, washing your hair. And last but not least, connecting with others. And that's really important, especially during times of isolation and when you're feeling quite lonely. Pleasurable activities. I have referred to pleasurable activities a lot throughout this video so far. I wanted to be specific about what this is. Pleasurable activities are those that we enjoy for the sake of doing the activity. Examples of these could be listening to music, baking, reading, gardening, cycling, the list is endless. Values. Your values reflect what you find meaningful in life. They are what you care about and what you think is important. These vary from person to person and can change over time. Activities that might be informed by our values could be enrolling in an online course, which might be driving your professional or career development, helping you learn a new skill. Or this could be checking in on an elderly neighbour who is vulnerable, being kind and caring. Mastery. I want to talk to you about this concept. Mastery involves activities like sports or cooking, and this is associated with the development of a skill which gives you the satisfaction of mastering something. In other words, gaining control, proficiency, or knowledge of something. For example, mastering the art of baking. This can give you a sense of achievement and accomplishment. When enjoyed in moderation and with other activities, this can increase positive emotions and improve how you feel about yourself. Using an activity schedule. Using an activity schedule will help create structure and routine, as well as ensuring you have a balance of activities that we have spoken about during this video. You can fill this out as you wish, but I would start with the essential things in your week, like work or appointments. On your screen is an example of an activity schedule. Try not to include more than three activities in each of the boxes, as this might become overwhelming. Allow yourself some flexibility too, as sometimes things change and we can't plan for every eventuality. 
There may even be days when this might be difficult and you might think, I can't be bothered today. It's these days when perseverance is key. Try to push yourself. This is when behavioural activation will be particularly of benefit to you. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for listening and I hope it has been helpful for you in identifying a way in which you can lift your mood during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks again for listening and take care.